David in Florida writes to me, according to the website, the Airlens has a low jitter reclocker, while the Stellar Gold DAC has a low jitter clocking. Why bother with reclocking in the streamer if the DAC has an excellent clock? Or are they both important? And do clocks matter to both PCM and DSD? Thank you. All right, well, simple on the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Timing in a digital circuit is critical. You can't reclock too many times to get it right. So part of the question here is why do we bother? Let's start with the air lens. So the air lens is our streamer and it takes signals in from a network, whether the network is local or somewhere out there like Tidal or Cobuzz or whatever. We stream in audio over the internet or over your local area network and we take in all of that including all the noise and all the crap that comes in from that digital signal and we pass it over to the output stage through what we call galvanic isolation, which is meaning that there is no physical connection between the input of all this digital data and the output of this, the circuit, output circuit. So it jumps across the air and we don't have any connections to ground, two separate power supplies, et cetera, et cetera. Once we have that signal, we need to reclock it. Why? Well, because for a number of reasons, when it comes in, we can't rely on the input clocking of this thing. We need to reclock it in order to get it and make sure that it is jitter free and steady. So it goes into a buffer, we reclock it, and it outputs a perfect signal. All right, now we have our perfect signal. Now we're going to put that into a DAC. And in this case, he's talking about our Stellar Gold DAC. We put it into the DAC and it reclocks it as well. So yeah, um, what we're trying to do there is take this perfect signal from the air lens, goes into our DAC and we don't know how it got in there. I mean, we do, but <laughs> I don't have any control over what you're doing. So you could go in through SPDIF, you could go in through coax, you could go in through any number of connect USB, any number of connectors, all of which, whether it's SPDIF, USB, I squared S, however you get it into the DAC, you get it in, and I can't guarantee that what you have put in is perfect clocking. Can't do it, because I don't know what you're putting in. You could be putting in, a $39 Target CD player, or you could be putting in a beautiful air lens. I don't know as the manufacturer. I must assume that you're going to put in something not so great. Therefore, I must ensure, if I'm going to make a DAC that, no kidding, no matter what you put in, it's going to sound great, I need to make sure that it will sound great. And therefore, I need to take it, reorganize it, and reclock it just as I did in the air lens because that's the only way I can guarantee that you're going to get great sound out of that DAC. Okay? I hope that helps. Thanks.